up you guys welcome to week i just want to say i apologize for not vlogging monday or yesterday i don't even remember what i did yesterday but family things came up and monday was just kind of a doozy and i didn't record anything but today i also did not record anything because well i recorded but i'm not even going to enter those clips because it's just not going to make sense today was a doozy yesterday was a doozy too but today y'all uh, no yesterday was definitely more of a doozy than today i'm not even going for it today was cool i i just want to see my face is beat so i don't even know how good the lighting is right now but my face is beat and my hair is done um i recorded a tiktok of this look so if you want to see i got this look go to my tiktok i'll probably put a preview on the screen so you guys can see it but like i was saying today i was really faced with a real lesson like a real challenge not even a challenge but i feel like today the universe really tried me in a way like are you are you really ready for what you say that you're ready for and i feel as though i handled it in the best way that i think i've ever handled any situation like this in my life so i am extremely proud of myself for how i went about things because god knows how i really wanted to go about things but i didn't and i'm so glad that i didn't even give anyone my energy i didn't have to like you see me you know what it is like i'm not going for that i'm not in a space where i even have to give things that do not serve me energy like it's gonna remove itself and i'm gonna remove myself before it probably even removes itself and that's just the honest truth but i say all that to say i feel just as if i'm growing and i can really feel my growth and i'm just thankful for everything that happens on a day-to-day -day basis in my life i'm grateful for the things that come into my life and i'm grateful for the things that go and leave my life at ease or not even at ease i'm grateful for everything that leaves because it did not serve purpose and it was not for me and thanks for the experience and that's pretty much that but yeah that's where my life is at right now y'all these weekly vlogs are not always going to give aesthetic they're not always gonna give happy girl working girl go get like go get her like i have these weeks where i'm more to myself i have these times where i'm more focused on aria internally than the world around aria the world that i'm creating for myself you know the life i'm creating for myself and yeah so that's what y'all are here for to see the ins and outs of this whole thing and enjoy the journey and be here with me on this thing called life <laughs> that's really just what it is that's why i'm doing this and yeah but i just wanted to give y'all a little update i have hella homework to do like usual and i'm gonna go make blondies because i really want blondies i want blondies and ice cream and i got some good ice cream downstairs so i'm gonna go make blondies and yeah We'll see you guys when we in the kitchen. Water whipping. <laughs>
morning you guys welcome to wednesday well, good morning today is a chill day as y'all can see well not really but your girl is dressed and ready to go to school i have on the most chill outfit my vans well y'all i don't ever wear my vans but like i like the way vans look on me these are cute comment below if you wear your van if you wear vans if you have vans and if you don't wear vans why don't you wear vans i want to know i really want to know y'all like fashion sense i'm really into fashion so we're gonna be having a whole lot of fashion conversations anyways i'm going off on a tangent as y'all can see your girl has on this bodysuit some leggings and vans a little jean jacket and then this bucket hat it has like a little I want to say flowers, but they kind of like splashes. I don't know. But that's what I'm wearing. I'm about to go to school. I got one class today, and I'm so excited because as soon as I do that, I'm coming right back home. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to get out of here because I want to go to Starbucks first because I have a bad habit of not eating in the morning, and we're, I'm trying to do better. So I'm definitely going to go to Starbucks. And then we're going to come back home and do the rest of what I need to do today. Good morning, you guys. Today is a Thursday, and I am on my way to school. Um, well, first, we're on our way to go get some food because I'm hungry. So, we're going to go get some avocado toast because that's what I've been wanting. And y'all know Ari gets what she wants. So, that's what I want. If y'all see my wig looking any type of courtesy, just take me for it. from earth farm oops and yeah today i have two classes y'all i'm almost done with school and i'm just more than excited not that i'm almost done with school because let's be honest as soon as this school stops more school starts like i'm not gonna be done with school until december but i rather december than june so period but yeah that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm just trying to go get some food because I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I'm a very hungry. So that's the vibe right now. I'm y'all, I'm not even gonna lie, these vlogs have not been giving lately because I have been like dealing with my own things and I think I've Oh, I want AC Transit to hit me, boy. I'm taking the biggest check. I'm talking about. I'm taking all the buses out of service. Please hit me. I'm not even going. I'm not going to hold you, boy. That's a fat one right there. All right, you guys. So I got this blue drink. I forgot what it's called. It's vanilla something. And this is what it looks like. It's good. It really don't taste like nothing. In all honesty, it tastes like oats. So it's not bad and it's not horrible. Um, but it just don't got no taste to it. But I feel like it's good and it has a lot of nutritional things in it. So I'm gonna feel better. I'm gonna have more energy. So that's a plus. Now I'm on my way to Starbucks to go get food because they didn't have avocado toast there and that's what I really wanted. And I feel like I really could have just made avocado toast at the house before I left, but I didn't. And that's what I really want. So I'm just gonna be lucked out today i was thinking about going to get oh excuse me i was thinking about going to get a um breakfast burrito from this one place but i really don't feel like going all the way up there so we just gonna stick with the starbucks today and maybe later for lunch i'll go up there because i literally have to get all their food is immaculate i've never vlogged there because every time i'm there i'm with somebody but the food is so good you guys so i might go up there later but then again i'm like girl i don't want to go spend no more money i'm tired of no damn food like i need somebody to come and take over all my expensive I, what am i talking about y'all i just am having tongue, twi tongue twisters 
all morning because I need somebody to what I wanted to say was I need somebody to come and take over my expenses when it comes to food and my gas and my clothes because like how am I supposed to move out in a year if I spend money excessively so we're gonna work on saving our funds I'm about to go to Starbucks because that's what I want and Ari gets what she wants like I always say because name a day that Ari don't get what she wants like one thing about me y'all I'm gonna make it happen for myself and that's why I don't let nobody come in between nothing I got going on because it's like I'm gonna make it happen for myself I'm not worried about oh hell no never mind we're not going to Starbucks we're just gonna go ahead and go to the little corner store and go get us something. That line is extremely too long. <laughs> so, yeah. Where am I gonna go now? I can go to a cafe, but y'all, it's just one cafe by my school, but that shit is hella expensive. Like, I don't know who they thought was paying their prices, but like, Bookie, come on now. You gotta do better than that. Like, y'all is taxing for a butter bagel. I'm talking about a butter bagel with $7. In what universe? Cause not in this one. Am I about to pay seven dollars for a butter bagel? I could go buy a bag of bagels for five dollars. What do you mean? Like, y'all, inflation has. I understand things are going up. I get it. But inflation got these businesses thinking that they can tax whatever for whatever. Baby, you're not about to give me a grain of rice and tell me that's three dollars. I have a big problem with that. Maybe it's just me, and I know for a fact I'm not a cheap person. Like in the last couple of videos, I've been having like curse on the side of my mouth. That means I've been talking too much and I'm dehydrated. I know I'm not a cheap person, so the fact that like I'm saying anything about pricing or prices on things just lets me know, like, are you you're not tripping? Because like usually I'll pay. Like I don't. I understand everybody got to make their money, so I'm not gonna be like cheap with things. Same time. Let's be for real. I wanna do a story time about like my COVID experience because it was pretty lit, I'm not gonna lie. Like, and yes, I got COVID like two times, but I beat that sh both times because who you thought you were stopping me? No, baby, can't nobody stop me. I ain't can't nothing stop me. Only thing that could stop me is me and I'm all gas, no break. Look, I feel like I just have not been vlogging this week. I feel like every time I vlog, y'all are seeing me in my car. Like, it's starting to get real repetitive and real boring, to say the least. Hey, guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, y'all. So, today, we are here. What a mukbang. What a mukbang. Hey, it's the first mukbang of the channel. Obviously, your girl's excited because if you know anything about me, then you know. I already let it eat. So... I'm excited. Today we are sponsored by Psych. This ain't no sponsor. I really shouldn't even show it. But anyways, today we're eating video tacos. Y'all, these are like the best tacos of life. Like once I had these, it was no going back. That's cap because I can eat regular tacos too. But like these just hit different. You know, we got some consumer, of course. And if you never had these tacos, one, you're hella late. Two, get on the train. And quit trying to act like you don't want to try them. Because I know you do. Y'all, look at this. Let's see if I can really show you. Like, who cares? Fire. And then I got a pineapple and cucumber on my first cup. And, of course, we got our kung fu man. I'm the type of person, like, if my food comes with sauces or, like, extra things to put on it. I'ma put it on it, like not every bite, but every other bite, I'm dressing my food up. I'm definitely a food dresser. Why so thick? I'ma eat it, but it ain't busting like he's gonna be busting, cause it should be busting. Anyways, today, as y'all can obviously see, this is the first mukbang on my channel. And yeah, matter of fact, I'm gonna eat first. Say you mean. Two different sauces. I prefer the green one over the red one, but I like both. I ain't get no chips, but this shit downstairs, I just think grab them. So yeah, let's take a bite. And they're hot. First, I'm gonna squeeze some lime on there. 
like that. We're going to get a pickled carrot. One thing about me, y'all, I love pickled carrots. I'm going to dip it first. This is like oil. It's just me. Not this. Thick, I ain't going to lie. And then I'm going to put green sauce on it. And watch how it just melt in my mouth. Y'all know what I find super funny? I don't know if you guys watch Kai or not, but Kai and Sky Jackson were on Twitch together and he was eating these. And she was like, I can't, or whatever she said, she just said she can't stand or she doesn't like when people chew loud. But like, I understand why he was chewing so loud. Because if y'all just heard me, that was very loud. I don't know why that just came to mind, but it came to mind. Um, what are we going to talk about? Let's look at some topics to talk about. Oh, okay. Let's talk about what it takes to be a friend. What is the friend criteria? And before we get into this, I just want to make this very clear. This is my thoughts. These are my opinions. This is not what you should do. This is not me telling anybody what they should do. This might not even be what I do. But these are just my viewpoints. So... Me personally, I like to keep a small circle. I like to keep my social circle to a minimum and that has been a blessing and a curse for me. But when it comes to the friend title, I do not throw that on anybody. I'm very selective with who I call my friend. Like my friend is somebody who, if I call you at four o'clock in the morning and I'm like, I need you, you gonna drop everything. You gonna wake up, get out your bed, get your car back to me. A friend is somebody who like, who I know got my back. Like, you're just a good person overall. Like, I feel like if I trust you, you're my friend. Like if I trust you to drive with me in your passenger seat, I'm your friend. You're my friend because I do not trust people driving. And I'll die, matter of fact, we'll touch on that topic a little later. When it comes to driving, I don't play that. I do not get in a car with nobody. That's so off topic, but yeah. But make somebody meet the friend criteria. For me, well, I'm gonna break down what a friend is. Somebody who, like I said, I can call at any time. That you gonna be there for me. Somebody who's loyal, without question. Somebody I can trust. Somebody my family get good vibes about because like y'all as important it is to live your own life and have individuality. Your people's senses or the the things that pe that your people's pick up from outside people that you might be involved with is very important because nine times out of ten they be the one. Um, but yeah, you gotta be loyal. I have fun with you. Like I don't want to be around nobody who bootsy or act like they too bougie for stuff or like don't want to be adventurous. Like I love being adventurous. I love going out and doing things. I love trying new things. So like I don't like I couldn't be friends with closed-minded people. Like I would have to be friends with people who are adventurous and want to explore life and learn more about themselves and know that what their life is right now is not the end all be all. That's super, super important. Also have, not have to, but like it's good when you can connect with your people or like your friends on a spiritual level. Like when you can have those conversations about spirituality and comfortable conversations about spirituality. So I honestly think that that's super important. And a friendship just to understand people and to understand your friends in the ways that they think and go about things because once upon a time there was a time where this person did not know you or you didn't know this person and we all go through things in life and we won't never understand why everybody acts the way that they do or why people say the things that they say with because we really don't ever take time to really get to understand a person and why they act the way that they do and the things that they've been through and 
you know, kind of just get to see who this person really is and not who the person reflects to be, if that makes sense. So I feel like understanding the way that somebody thinks is like, I want to be able to have conversations that help me understand the person I'm around so I know how to be around them and deal with them. Next thing is we got to have some type of common interest. Like if we're two different people, I mean, it may work. I've never really been in a friendship where me and my friend have had two different type of interests and it just like, or at least not a girl. Well, boys is different. Cause like, yeah, you're a boy. I'm not gonna go do the things that you want to do. But like common interest is definitely a must for me at least. What is going on you guys? Welcome to Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. We just gonna have a hard time real quick, y'all, because I really just got some things to talk about. This week, you know, last week too, have just been really hard for me. Like I've been not slacking, but I've literally been drained completely and it's because I've been getting a lot of work done. I've been getting a lot of things done, but my priorities have been like, it's just been a lot and it's just been, I don't want to say too much because I'm black. I always say I'm very grateful for all the emotion that I have in my life, but like, damn, can I get a break? I have not had a simple day where I could just simply be in Aria mode. Not Aria Nicole, not Aria the student, not Aria anything else, but just simply being me and doing what I love. So with that being said, y'all, this is the, I'm sure the title of this vlog, cause this is the week away. I'm sure that the title of this vlog is gonna be stressing. <laughs> A week full of stressing, cause that's what it's given. But right now I am planning out my day. Um, I don't have much to do today. I just have content to do. So I'm gonna film a video, cause today's Friday is a content day. So I'm gonna film a video and edit week three so i can post that on saturday i'm gonna switch up the schedule a little bit you guys but you guys will obviously know that way before this video comes out um but we're instead of posting weekly vlogs on sunday i'm gonna post them on saturdays and you guys will should expect a new video in between the weekly vlogs every either wednesday or tuesday i have not decided yet um, I did not upload a vlog or like a normal video during this week because like I said y'all I was just been stressing. I haven't even been vlogging and that's how you know it's been bad because I vlog every single day. Like I'm so used to having the camera in my face and the fact that I can't even think like oh yeah I do need to vlog this. I do need to record these things goes to show you I am not where I need to be but to get to where I need to be. I gotta put in work and I gotta get there like it's not just gonna come meet me I gotta go get it so yeah that's perfect y'all my uh scheduler scheduler my calendar literally says the best way to predict the future is to invent it and exactly you want something to happen you gotta make it happen for yourself and like literally create it you want something create it so that's what I'm doing. I'm here creating the life that I want. And y'all gonna see the ins and outs, the struggles, the ups and the downs because that's what y'all are here for. I also, oh my God, I so many things. I need to plan out this summer. I'll do that tomorrow though. I go on a trip next month. I need to plan out my trip for the end of the year. I need to plan my birthday and I need to plan out this summer. And I need to plan out content. I honestly think for my birthday, y'all, I'm just going to have a barbecue and tell everybody to pull up. My birthday is the day before 4th of July, so I think it's very much so on theme. I did want to go somewhere and do something with my friends, but my birthday is on a Monday, so I think if I do something with my friends on the weekend and then on my actual birthday, have a barbecue, have everybody pull up, and then the next day, we outside, y'all. I don't, I don't know if that's gonna make it into the vlog, but that's gonna be super fun. I'm gonna go with my friend's family, and we're gonna turn up. I gotta start ordering clothes for my trip, you guys, so that everything comes on time. I'm like exhausted. Like, what time is it? It's 11.40. And I literally, only thing I've done today is brush my teeth, wash my face, and 
it's the middle of the day. I feel like I'm doing horrible, but I don't want to tell myself I'm doing horrible because when you tell yourself that you're doing bad or that things aren't working out, things are not going to work out. So things are working out and I'm doing great. Things are working out and I'm doing great. I also need to make my affirmation jar. Like there's so many things. Let me go look at all the things that I didn't do and see if I can work this in somewhere. My nails aren't done either, so I'm thinking about making some press lines because I don't really want my nails done. Like, my nails need to breathe. They're hella thin. They're more than damaged. So, I'm going to take a nail break, but I do got to get that done too. Uh, this shit is just never ending, but okay. It ain't nothing to it but to do it. And I need to reinstall this wig because I feel like it's coming up. But this the unit is so good that it could be a glueless unit, which I love. Being a content creator it takes a lot of time and a lot of investment and really a lot of money. So before, if you're watching this right now and you're watching my channel, like she's a new YouTuber and she's building herself up and it doesn't seem like that much work y'all i am doing all of this by myself that's why sometimes the videos aren't as consistent as i want them to be or need them to be even though i'm doing good i've been uploading videos every week two videos per week so pat my back but it's hard you guys when you don't have a team and it's just you and you also have life outside of content but when you really think about it is there life outside of content when you're always recording and like things like that it gets tricky and it gets to be a lot and overwhelming and stressful but i do not want to leave you guys hanging and i don't want to go on a huge break and not like and just go missing on you guys then come back and try to find like my niche again like no i really want to stick with it and i want to show y'all the ins and outs of like this life of mine and what it's really like to build up a youtube channel what it's really like to build up a, a business like not only am i a youtuber but i'm a business owner and not only am i a business owner but i'm a student and not only am i a student but i'm a working actress like there's so many things that like i have to juggle on a daily basis and like so many things skip my mind because i'm thinking about this or that or that and then overall that i'm a person i have relationships i have self time that i need to carve out that i obviously don't because i'm just on go and working all the time and i also have work like i have a job now and i'm also an assistant but i've been an assistant for so long that that's like second nature to me like anything i need to get done is get done but like that's still time consuming so just trying to find balance in content creation and trying to find balance just in life in general is something that like i'm super focused on right now y'all i have no time for relationships in my life whatsoever and i just feel like that's something that i just had to make an executive decision on because like as much as i love my people and i love being around people and experiencing life with people i really feel like i'm supposed to be alone right now in this season just so that I can get everything together for me so that my future is as bright as I see it to be. So like I have not been able to like have the fun social life. And don't get me wrong, I do have a fun social life. Like I be outside with my girlies and all of that. But like the relationships in my life I've had to distance myself from and just kind of like fall back in love with myself because it was taking too much from me and sometimes we have to do that we have to sacrifice the things that we love for the things that we want and it gets hard but it's like it's worth it and I don't feel like anything is worth stopping doing what you love or doing what you feel like your purpose is so with that being said I had to like really reevaluate and dial back on the things that I was doing and like really set my sights high and set my eyes straight like this is what you want or you want to put in work and you're gonna have to like fulfill that like nobody's gonna do it for you if you want something you gotta get it done and that's just my mindset over everything and that's why I do everything myself like literally from every job I have to doing my nails my hair all that I do it myself because I feel like if you want something done right you do it yourself 
that way. It ain't no complaints. It ain't no, I wish this would've went that way. And maybe that's, I don't wanna say bad, but maybe that's like something I need to work on and something to find like a way to open up through and allow people to help me and allow people to work with me and make my life easier. But like, I just have a really bad time of giving someone a responsibility when it comes to me and then they don't fulfill it. And then now I'm stressed and crying because it's like, damn, I am gonna have to go and do this because so-and-so didn't get X, Y, and Z done. And I don't wanna deal with that. And being a business owner, like I really have to let go of that sense of like control because I'm not gonna be able to do everything. Like y'all, I don't eat on most days because I'm working consistently. Like, y'all don't see it because this is more behind the scenes and things that I don't record. But like when I'm not recording, I'm working and I'm working hard. Like I do all this shit by myself and it's gonna pay off. I know in a couple years, I'm gonna watch this video back and be like, yeah, it very much so did pay off. But like, this is the grind. This is the part that matters the most. This is the build up. This is the foundation stuff. So, you really y'all I say this all to say that everything is not all glitz and glamour everything is not as aesthetically pleasing as it may seem or as it may look and everything is not easy like when you want something you gotta work for it and hard work takes dedication consistency and trust in yourself and the universe like big ups to everybody who can keep a clear mind and a clear mental, well, clear mental space when your brain is at full capacity. Cause right now I'm trying to master having a clear mind and a clear mental space and still carving out time for myself while also being on this rapid, like roller coaster of things that I thought I need to get done and ideas. And, oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna and it's like, when you choose to take your wants and embody them and take your wants and make it your reality, you choose to put in work. You choose to live the life that you want to live. But doing that comes with work and things do not go. It's trial and error. That's basically what I'm getting to. All of this is trial and error. But when you stick with it long enough, it becomes a worthwhile journey. And that's my whole point in doing this and being a content creator is to show y'all like when you're not alone because we all have wants and we all have things that we want our lives to be and we all one day got to take that leap of faith regardless of where you set your sights to be we all got to take that leap of faith one day of being the person that we want to be and for me i'm not gonna stop till i become that person and Ain't nothing gonna get in my way and ain't nothing gonna stop me regardless. I don't care if I have to sit down for three years and pop back up like I'm that girl and like I never left and get back to it like I never left. That's what I'm gonna do because I'm dedicated and I love what I do and I love my job. I love every single thing that I do and that's what keeps me going because I know that all this is embodying who I want to be. I'm a very hard worker. I'm a very a good person overall like my relationships that I have when it comes to my work things and like all the people I have to deal with I know that like this means more than just what it may seem like and I know that one day everything is gonna work out matter of fact it is working out as I speak these words everything's falling into fruition for me everything is working out for me and like that's enough to keep me going every single day like i know today i might not have it today i might cry like y'all i'm not gonna lie to y'all this morning i woke up and cried because i was like, just so much like, i got so much to do and it's hard like even trying to stick to a schedule can be hard because it's like damn i got all this to do but think about it this way you get to do these things you get to create the life that you want you get to wake up every morning and do what you want to do regardless of what you have to do like changing your perspective is really key to not getting caught up in like being drained by the things that you have to do because it's a blessing at the end of the day we all get to wake up and do what we want to do regardless of who told you what you have to do today regardless of what your boss say your teacher say anybody 
you can do what you want to do. We have all free will to do whatever we want to do. We're people at the end at the end of the day, regardless of laws or anything like that. Now don't take that and run with it. Don't let me be the reason that you went and did something and got your ass put in jail. Cause I'm not taking fall for that. I'm just letting y'all know right now. So be smart. But what I'm saying is you have the ability to create all that you want, whatever you want, when you want. And don't let that nobody take that away from you. Because as a living testimony, y'all, it get hard, but it'll never give up on you. What you put into yourself is gonna reflect back out to you. Like who you are on the inside, the way that you think about yourself, the way that you carry yourself is gonna reflect back to folk. And I feel like y'all gotta see this vibrant light. Y'all gotta see this beautiful smile. Y'all gotta see this beautiful person inside me that I like don't even showcase for real like y'all see me on youtube and y'all see me on instagram but it's like it's so many things that you guys don't even know yet and like as time comes of course i'm gonna show y'all i'm not just gonna give my whole out my whole out to y'all like you know it comes with being comfortable in it but yeah i said all this to say ain't as easy as it looks but when you stick with it long enough it will be everything that you want it to be so I'm gonna continue to schedule out today and then we're gonna get started with editing basically and uploading it and then I'm gonna schedule it and then I'm gonna record a video. Clean up, meditate, I gotta email somebody real quick and then yeah. That is the tea for today. Okay y'all, I twink on me, so I gotta go. <laughs> hey y'all, so it is some time, time, time later. I already cooked, came in from the store, did all of that. I'm sitting here editing. Oof, I got y'all messed up. I'm sitting here editing week three vlog. And yeah, I am tired. <laughs> I need to go. That's real. Let me not yawn and talk. I need to go get in the shower because I really want to go to sleep. But I'm not doing nothing tomorrow, so I'm not tripping. Even if I don't finish editing this video today, I know it's gonna get done tomorrow. <laughs> and that's why I love tomorrow. But I do today gotta do this. Um, get ready with me to chat video. I might take a nap and get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and do it. Like, that's how serious I am about this video. But I'm also so tired, so yeah. Cooking literally took so much out of me. I made a TikTok, so I'll put that on the screen or a little preview of that on the screen so that you guys can see what your girl be chefed up today. Um, I had made some shrimp tacos, y'all. They was so good. Like, when I say bussing, I mean bussing, bussing. Like, bussing, just bussing. You feel me? yeah but i'm hella tired like y'all i just know i look tired like this whole scene is about to get tired like i'm rubbing my face i'm yawning y'all i really feel like i get no sleep like i'm so sleep deprived and it's honestly sad because i'm too damn young to be sleep deprived like are you what do you do but like you think about it like are you i do a lot I do a lot, Bookie. I am not out here sitting on my ass. I ain't putting in work. And I just know that there's so much more that I want to do. So then it's just it's like. But I'm going to get this shit done, though. Period. I think about me. I'm going to get this shit done. So I'm going to continue to edit until I either fall asleep or find it in me to get up and record this video.
what is going on you guys today is saturday i'm not even sure if i have turned on the camera and vlog today but i'm sure i've been working um i just finished editing week three and i'm uploading it and i'm about to post it y'all this video took so long to edit and finalize and watch back three four five six seven times because you know you gotta rewatch your content before you post like you can just post anything so it took me so long because it's hour this hour this vlog is an hour long so i hope that all y'all went and watched week three y'all aren't going to be getting too many hour long weekly vlogs i tried i really was like okay this is these are weekly vlogs i have to make them longer because the other vlogs are 20 25 minutes like decent y'all will never get another hour long video from me okay i'm not gonna say that y'all will definitely get another hour long video but are they gonna be every week no um and on top of that the footage was up to what three hours two hours and then i had to edit that down and yeah so needless to say i'm tired I have barely eaten today, but we're gonna go to In and Out later because I was doing In and Out, and this was like the first day of summer. It's really not, but this is the first day. It's being hot out here, so <laughs> it's summer. Whip up, hooray, or whatever the fuck they be saying. Um, and yeah, so I be think that In and Out just goes that whole vibe. So I'm gonna go get In and Out because I put in hard work. With that being said, I'm waiting for this video to be done with all the checks. We got two more minutes left, and then I'm gonna close that, and then I'm gonna shut my whole computer operation down because what else do I have to do today, y'all? I just want y'all to know that like I've been editing all day and doing these videos all day. And let me just be honest, this was yesterday's task, not today. So the things that I gotta do today, I still gotta get done because I still gotta work tomorrow. So, and I gotta work at 9 o'clock, so I'm just gotta be at by 6. So I can do my makeup, do my hair, get dressed, and go pick up a lunch because I don't know what food places are going my job. I do, but that area ain't that great, and I really just stay at work. Anyways, um, Today, what I was supposed to be doing is planning out my summer, planning out content for the summer because I want a strict schedule so that I don't fall off and get like slacky with it. Um, I need to plan out my birthday and I need to plan out my trip that I'm going on. And I also want to make an affirmation jar. I think I touched on this in like week one or week two, but I never got around to it. So affirmation jar is something that I really need to do that i really like am going to do i don't know if it's gonna get that today but i need to do that and i also want to make some press ones because i want some press ones i don't really like i want to make some short press ones and some long ones and i think i might start selling them too but i don't know yet i don't even know how i would make that work to where it would fit people's fingers that's a whole nother business venture for real um uni nails is still up and running so if you want your nails done dm me and i will be there to provide you with the most luxury nail service that you'll ever have in your life also what else do i have going on i also need some instagram content so i'm going to record i um chit chat get ready with me <clears throat> in a minute but i'm gonna take a break first and like go wash my face and get ready and set up for the video I'm gonna do that and then take some Instagram pictures and I think I'm gonna be done for the night. I was thinking about filming a get ready to get ready with me before I go to work, but like I would literally stress myself out trying to achieve that knowing damn well it's not gonna like that doesn't even make sense. Like girl, you gotta I'm gonna have to get about four o'clock in the morning to be able to get the video done productively and do everything like that productively. So I'd rather do it tonight and be tired than rushing it late to work. Um so yeah that is the shindig i'm so like just ready for this video to be able i don't even think i'm gonna go back and ever watch week three vlog again that's how i'm feeling right now um but yeah we're almost we're getting there we're getting everything checked off my checklist and that's gonna make me super uber, uber duper happy y'all i know y'all probably be watching my videos like girl do you ever have fun do you ever like relax 
The answer is no. <laughs> I'm always on go. Like, my fun, my work is my fun. Like, don't get me wrong. I have... That's why I love what I do because every single thing that I do is fun. Like, these are things that I enjoy. Don't get me wrong. But when you turn things that you enjoy into work, it gets a little overwhelming because it's like, I got to do this today. It gets kind of draining. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. Like, I don't have anything to just relax because it's like when you're working all the time. It's work. It's fun. But it's work. So, that's that. Y'all, this TikTok has been getting a lot of attention lately so if you have not go follow me on tiktok at rep the b print and to go follow the other tiktok at aria nicole with two eyes it's the same as my instagram i'm about to switch all over to this account right here because my other account is age restricted and i don't get nearly as much interaction on that uh page as i would like to so yeah while i'm waiting for this video to post i'm about to edit this cooking video i made last night and i will get back to y'all probably after i'm done